So really the permanent alterations to the face that are displeasing is from the GH pathway. I feel like that's not talked about. GH is just touted around online as this fountain of youth. What is up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR sip is 19SMR.com, coupon code Russo. ASMR Spritz Intelligent Elephant H2O. Hear your noises. All right, today I'm going to be ranting about face mutation changes from anabolic steroids. And I'll have Andrew throw up a bunch of faces before and after steroids. Is it permanent? What happens? And there's a bunch of caveats in this, but I wanted to say relating it to me and I'll, I'll go in on the haters a little bit like my face. I'll have Andrew throw up my face at 215 on my pinned Instagram post. And then I'll have Andrew throw up my face when I was suffering from PFS around 220. And then here's my bloated face now at 255. To think that that fat water is not going to accumulate on your face is stupid. To think you can't pull that fat water off your face when you cut back down, thus sacrificing short-term vanity to regain a lot of muscle, gain a lot of muscle, is something a lot of guys do. And the thing is, you just grow out the beard, right? You grow out the beard. That's the little like trick that everyone does. But like to say that's permanent is bullshit. Now there are permanent changes from using high androgenic compounds, right? So you'll have jaw protrusion, jaw widening, and overall you have jaw muscles and your face will get bigger, your muscles will get bigger in your jaw. That's permanent. HGH grows the skull and you will notice that again, everything grows when you're using HGH pathway shit. Like that's why like, oh, Russo only recommends one to two units of HGH. It's like the minute you go over that, most people, again, it depends on your IGF-1 score, but most people are in acromegaly territory and their face is gonna get bigger. Their whole skull is gonna get bigger and that shit's permanent. So really the permanent alterations to the face that are displeasing is from the GH pathway. I feel like that's not talked about. GH is just touted around online as this fountain of youth. It's really only a fountain of youth in my opinion if it's one unit a day. I feel like the minute you go over that, you know, there's just the data like, the minute you go over two units a day, you're about gaining muscle, you're about high performance, you're about sacrificing a little bit of your long-term life from the cell replication hyperplasia being so extreme. That's the way I think of it. No one thinks that, oh, my face is gonna change, right? I'll have the Dallas McCarver comparison. Like we've seen time and time again, extreme GH abuse leads towards a face change that is permanent. Now, when you use steroids and hold water retention, you have fat on your face from gaining weight so quickly with food and you have carb, rete carb water retention, that all goes away. That vanity can be completely recovered and that's sacrificing vanity for if you're gonna take a fucking bulk steroid cycle risk my health i want to obviously have the food there to make me continue gaining weight on the highest dosages my face is going to get a little bloated it will come back down this is where the bloat lord thing comes from a lot of you guys want this physique but you got to sit 40 50 pounds above where you want to look good at and then come back down if you do that one time you'll see a dramatic difference in my opinion than doing the main gaining shit right i feel like the main gaining shits for elite athletes i feel like the main gaining shits for people with already established physiques and overall i never responded well the reason why i am so big being a hard gainer is because i became the bloat lord i bit the bullet i bulked i sacrificed my face all of andrew thread up sacrifice that and then when I cut back down, I will recover my face to a certain extent. Now I have used HGH, I have used 677, so my face is going to be changed, but it's like this bloat comes off. And that's where <laughs> I think it's funny when, you know, certain guys who are steroid haters, which you can be whatever you want on this channel, I don't really give a shit. It's just like, oh, they think, oh, well, you're ugly now. No, dude, I just gained 60 fucking pounds. I just add another plate to each side on all my fucking lifts. I have more muscle mass. I have more AR density. I have more dopamine signaling. 
And now I'm gonna come back down and recover my face. That's temporary. But I do wanna caveat and say like, yeah, you can fuck up your face with GH very quickly and grow the jaw. It's not funny and it's permanent. It can dysregulate how your mouth closes and can create a over under bite pretty easily. Gotta keep that in mind. Gotta go to the dentist, dentist will point it out most likely, but that's only on the higher dosages. Meaning when I see people who want to bodybuild, it's like, okay, four to 12, I use a GH a fucking day. Go for it. But when I'm saying that you go over two, longevity is thrown out the window. HGH is not that fountain of youth everyone touts it about. And it's just like one of those education things of like, obviously you're growing your intestines and everything else, but your skull size is going to change. Your facial structure is going to change. That's permanent. If you're using steroids that aromatize, you're eating high carb diet, you're holding more mineral retention from the androgens, that can all be obliterated off and you can recover your vanity easily. And you can see when people come off, they see, like when people come off steroids, they're like, I feel and look better. And like, I like the way my face looks. That's just water retention. That's water retention. That's bloat from the androgens holding more minerals in your body, which you need to get stronger when you're on a lot of gear. So I wanted to caveat that. I will see you guys in my next video.